Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something super important, but don't worry, we're keeping it light and fun because, let's be real, who wants a boring health lecture? We're talking about the 10 hilarious signs your blood sugar is doing the cha-cha slide a little too high. So buckle up, grab your snacks, healthy ones preferably, and get ready to laugh your way to better health. All right, folks, let's talk about the first sign your blood sugar might be doing the Macarena frequent urination. You know, that constant need to visit the bathroom that makes you feel like you're on a never-ending quest for relief. We've all been there, right? Stuck in a meeting, driving on a long road trip, watching a movie, and suddenly, bam, you gotta go, like, right now. It's that sudden urgent need that hits you out of nowhere, making you feel like you're in a race against time. But when it feels like you're auditioning for a role in a bathroom commercial, it might be time to pay attention. You know, those moments when you find yourself smiling awkwardly in the mirror, wondering if this is your new normal. I'm talking about those moments when you swear you just went five minutes ago, but your bladder's like, nope, think again, buddy. We're going for round two. It's like your bladder has a mind of its own, and it's determined to keep you on your toes. And let's be real, there's nothing glamorous about sprinting to the bathroom every five seconds. It's exhausting, frustrating, and downright inconvenient. You start to wonder if you should just set up camp in there. It's like your body's playing a never-ending game of, can you hold it? Spoiler alert, you probably can't. And the worst part is, it doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing. Your bladder doesn't care if you're in the middle of an important meeting or trying to enjoy a night out with friends. You start to notice a pattern. It's not just a one-time thing. It's happening more and more frequently. You find yourself checking the time, calculating how long it's been since your last bathroom break, and wondering if this is something you should be worried about. If this sounds all too familiar, it might be time to talk to a healthcare professional. Frequent urination can be a sign of various health issues, including diabetes. It's important to get checked out and make sure everything is functioning as it should. So don't ignore the signs. Your body is trying to tell you something. Listen to it, take action, and get the help you need. After all, you deserve to live your life without constantly worrying about where the nearest bathroom is. Next up, we've got increased thirst. Now, we all get thirsty, especially after a killer workout or on a scorching summer day. But if you're chugging water like it's going out of style, and I'm talking about those moments when you're practically drinking from the garden hose, it might be time to check that blood sugar, my friend. We're talking about that kind of thirst where your mouth feels like the Sahara Desert, and you could probably drink an entire swimming pool and still feel parched. It's like your body's saying, hey, I need some hydration here, stat. And by stat, I mean five seconds ago. All right, let's talk about fatigue, the feeling that we all know, and let's be honest, despise. We're talking about that feeling when you wake up feeling like you just ran a marathon in your sleep. And it's not just in the morning. Oh no, it follows you around all day long like a shadow that just won't quit. You're dragging yourself from one task to the next, dreaming of the moment you can finally collapse on the couch and surrender to the sweet embrace of sleep. But here's the thing. If you're constantly feeling like a sloth on a Monday morning, even after a good night's sleep, high blood sugar might be the culprit. Seeing double? Nope, just high blood sugar. Now, this next one is a bit of a doozy blurred vision. It's one of those symptoms that can really catch you off guard. We're not talking about those times when you wake up in the morning and everything's a little blurry until you put your contacts in. That's pretty normal and usually clears up quickly. No, we're talking about those moments when you're going about your day and suddenly the world turns into a Picasso painting. It's like someone flipped a switch and now everything is distorted and out of focus. You're seeing double, things are fuzzy, and you're pretty sure you just walked into a wall, except you didn't. It's a disorienting experience that can make you question your own senses. And no, you haven't had one too many margaritas. This isn't the result of a fun night out. It's something more serious. If you're experiencing blurred vision, especially if it comes on suddenly, it could be a sign your blood sugar is doing the tango in the danger zone. High blood sugar levels can cause the lens of your eye to swell, leading to changes in your vision. When your blood sugar levels are too high, it can affect the fluid levels in your eyes, causing them to swell and change shape. This can lead to blurred vision and difficulty focusing. It's important to monitor your blood sugar levels regularly, especially if you have diabetes or are at risk for developing it. Keeping your blood sugar levels in check can help prevent these sudden changes in vision. Managing your diet, 
taking your medication as prescribed, and staying active are all crucial steps in maintaining healthy blood sugar levels. By doing so, you can help protect your vision and overall health. So if you find yourself seeing double or struggling with blurred vision, don't just brush it off. It could be your body's way of telling you that your blood sugar levels need attention. Take action, consult with your healthcare provider, and keep your eyes and your health in focus. Headache? More like a drum solo in my skull. Let's talk about headaches, those pesky little devils that love to ruin our day. We've all been there, right? That throbbing pain in your temples, that feeling like someone's squeezing your head in a vice. It's enough to make you want to crawl into bed and hide under the covers. But here's the thing. If you're getting headaches more often than usual and they're particularly nasty, it might be time to check that blood sugar. We're talking about those headaches that feel like a tiny drummer is having a solo concert inside your skull. Healing like a snail in a foot race. Now this next sign is a bit more subtle, but it's definitely worth paying attention to. Slow healing of cuts and wounds. It's one of those things that can easily be overlooked, but it can tell you a lot about what's going on inside your body. We've all had those moments when we get a little nick or cut and it seems to take forever to heal. You might think it's just a minor inconvenience, but it can be a sign of something more significant. But if you're noticing that your paper cuts are taking longer to heal than your last relationship, it might be a sign that your blood sugar is out of whack. High blood sugar levels can affect your body's ability to heal itself, making even the smallest wounds a big deal. We're talking about those wounds that just seem to linger, refusing to heal properly no matter how much neosporin you slather on them. It's frustrating, and it can make you feel like your body is betraying you. It's like your body's saying, hey, I'm a little preoccupied with this whole blood sugar imbalance thing. Can we postpone this whole healing process for a bit? This delay in healing can be a red flag that something isn't quite right. Imagine marking the days on a calendar, waiting for that tiny cut to finally close up, but it just doesn't seem to happen. This prolonged healing process can be a sign that your immune system is compromised, often due to high blood sugar levels. When your blood sugar is consistently high, it can lead to a condition called hyperglycemia, which can impair your body's natural healing processes. This is because high blood sugar can cause inflammation and damage to your blood vessels, making it harder for nutrients and oxygen to reach the wound. To help your body heal more efficiently, it's important to manage your blood sugar levels through a balanced diet, regular exercise, and proper medication if needed. Eating a diet rich in whole foods, like fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains, can help keep your blood sugar in check. Regular physical activity is also crucial. Exercise helps improve your body's sensitivity to insulin, which can help regulate your blood sugar levels. Even simple activities like walking, yoga, or light jogging can make a big difference. If you're already on medication for blood sugar management, make sure you're taking it as prescribed. Skipping doses or not following your doctor's instructions can lead to fluctuations in your blood sugar levels, which can further delay the healing process. By taking these steps, you can help your body heal more quickly and efficiently. Remember, slow healing wounds are not just a minor inconvenience. They can be a sign that your body needs some extra care and attention. So, listen to what your body is telling you and take action to keep your blood sugar levels in check. All right, let's talk about a sign that might seem like a good thing at first unexplained weight loss. Now, don't get me wrong, losing weight can be a positive thing, especially if you've been working hard to shed those extra pounds. But if you're suddenly dropping weight without making any changes to your diet or exercise routine, it's definitely cause for concern. We're talking about those moments when your clothes are fitting looser, you step on the scale and do a double take, and you're pretty sure you left your appetite in last week's laundry basket. Next up, we've got increased hunger, and no, I'm not talking about that mid-afternoon slump where you could go for a snack. I'm talking about that ravenous, insatiable hunger that feels like it could eat a whole buffet and still have room for dessert. You know that feeling, right? It's like your stomach is a bottomless pit, and you're constantly searching for food to silence the beast within. But here's the thing. If you're constantly feeling like you could eat a horse, even after a hearty meal, it might be a sign that your blood sugar is on a roller coaster ride. All right, let's talk about irritability, that lovely little emotion that makes us want to scream into a pillow or hide from the world. We all have our moments, right? Those days when everything seems to annoy us from the sound of our alarm clock to the way our toast falls butter side down. 
but if you're finding yourself feeling like the Hulk on a bad day, with a hair trigger temper and a permanent scowl on your face, it might be time to check that blood sugar. Last but not least, we've got dry mouth, that unpleasant sensation that makes it feel like you've been sucking on cotton balls all day. We've all been there, right? After a long flight, a night of too much talking, or a particularly intense workout, our mouths can feel like the Sahara Desert. But if you're constantly reaching for your water bottle, only to find that your mouth still feels as dry as a popcorn fart, it might be a sign that your blood sugar is doing the jitterbug. Thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more fun and informative content. Remember, taking care of your health doesn't have to be boring. So go out there, laugh a little, and keep those blood sugar levels in check. Stay healthy and keep laughing.